Once upon a time, there was a young lady called Cinderella. She lived with her greedy stepmother and gluttonous stepsisters. The day she turned 18, an invitation arrived. The stepmother swiped it from her grasp and rejoiced. The family had been invited to the prince's ball. Cinderella began making dresses so big they would drown her relatives in tidal waves of bows, ribbons, sequins and more. As Cinders left to join them, her stepmother stood in her way. She was not to go. Cinders watched as the others struck down the path. Suddenly she heard a pop. A beautiful lady with bright blue eyes, soft white hair and a sparkly pink dress appeared out of nowhere. Cinders gazed in wonder as the lady said, I am your fairy godmother and you shall go to the ball. And with one quick flick of her wand, the fairy godmother had transformed Cinderella's tired dress. As Cinderella arrived at the ball, she felt hundreds of eyes fall onto her. Amidst her shock, she accepted the help of an unfamiliar hand. Her stepsisters watched in disgust as she realised the hand belonged to the prince, with whom she was now dancing. As her legs intertwined with his, she recalled a warning the fairy godmother had told her. She warned that the spell would wear off at midnight. It was 11.58, two minutes till midnight. Realising her clothes were about to transform from a beautiful dream to a messy apron, Cinders ran away. The only trace left of her, a glass slipper, sculpted by the fairy godmother to perfectly fit her delicate feet. As the sun rose the next day, Cinders was startled by the screeches of her stepsisters. As they read a poster, he was looking for her. The prince was to visit each young lady and get them to try on the delicate slipper. The time came for the stepsisters to try the slipper on. Neither were a match. As the shoe was cradled out of the door, the official noticed young cinders disappearing upstairs. She had avoided trying on the slipper. The official insisted. As she poised her foot, ready to insert it into the slipper, everyone in the room could sense that it was going to fit perfectly. And it did.